Good morning and welcome to Cincy Lifestyle. Clyde, it's a great day. We've got a great show. And, um, <laughs> and you know what, Clyde? How are you this morning? Oh, I'm doing yes, fine. I'm I want to know what's behind that laughter. You must be plotting something. <laughs> No, it's me um, just being a little bit disorganized this morning, but catching up as we go along. I'm catching up as we go along. Okay, okay. You're like the duck, calm on the surface, but paddling like crazy beneath it, right? That is me. That is me. Absolutely. Well, you know what, Clyde? One thing that I do not like to do is go to the grocery store. I hate it. I, I, th I overspend every time. So I've been taking advantage of, you know, like, calling and, and putting it online and then picking it up so I don't have to go in the store. But you know what? Meet the man who hasn't been to the supermarket in months. That's mm. right. Thanks to his tiny urban garden on his patio, he's grown his own fruit and vegetables for nine months. Now, this 29-year-old tattoo artist was inspired by memories of helping out in his grandfather's garden uh -huh. as a child. That, isn't that sweet? The tattoo yeah. artist managed to produce an impressive haul of 30 different kinds of Whoa. vegetables, including cabbage, carrots, garlic, fennel, leeks, and cauliflower, mm. and my favorite, broccoli, mm. and in his little 16 by 26 foot patio garden. Wow. This is really amazing because, um, Clyde, do you have a garden? Or I, do you like gardening? I do not have one. I do like it. And as a kid, we had a garden behind our house. Boy, was that fun. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. I have n I've tried to grow tomatoes on my balcony once. Never saw a tomato. The leaves just died. That's all I all saw was dead leaves. I don't know what I, what went wrong, but it said on the as seen on TV or whatever it's called, <laughs> it said it was so easy to grow these tomatoes. Women, on hold my on. Balcony, Did you get chia happen. tomatoes? Did you get chia tomatoes, Mona? <laughs> uh, maybe I should have. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I know. Well, Clyde, between the pandemic and the cold weather, many of us are missing out on some of the gems in our city, but the Art Museum is open and has wonderful exhibits that you are sure to enjoy. And to tell us more, I want to welcome Jill Dunn from the Cincinnati Art Museum. Jill, always good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Mona. It's so good to see Hi. you. Uh, we're yes, so excited to uh, have the art museum open. Uh, we, as you know, we're opened in December and um, just on the weekends. So we were able to work with ArtsWave and we raised over $3,500 for local artists uh, through the um, funding that they're doing to support them during this time uh, because so many of the arts are closed right now. But we're so lucky to have the art museum open. Um, even though it is just the weekends for now. And we're really glad that January, uh, we are able to open up on Saturdays and Sundays. And we have just some great exhibitions right now. Yes, you do. In fact, one of them highlights women and will be leaving soon, so people have to hurry. Tell us about that one. So we have uh, Women Breaking Boundaries, which features Mary Cassatt. We've got paintings, sculptures, uh, fashions that are on view right now, and we're really excited to be able to offer that. Um, it is a free exhibition, so right now the Frank Duvenek exhibition, which is ticketed, uh, is the one we are raising uh, the funds, using those funds to support uh, the Arts Wave organization, where they have a, a regional artist fund for local artists during COVID. So this is an artwork. Uh, one of the most famous by Frank Duvenek, who is an amazing artist. Uh, he was born in 1848, and he has been called the father of American art. As you can see, his paintings are just fantastic, and we have uh, the largest collection in the world in our permanent collection, and we brought even more together so that we can share them with the public. And so we have just a great assortment. Uh, this one's from the Smithsonian, actually. So lenders have uh, let us borrow them, and we're so glad to share them with uh, folks in Cincinnati. And this one is actually part of the Women Breaking Boundaries exhibition. Uh, that is the, one of the free exhibitions that we also have, and this is the final weekend for that show. So we're hoping a lot of people could come see it. Uh, we actually had several different iterations of that exhibition, and this one is the one that is up right now. So if you've seen it before, you might want to see it again. Uh, we switched over in the fall 
uh, so that you can see even more artworks by these women artists, which we think are so important right now. They really are important. And um, what else should we be keeping and an eye the out for that might be coming are, uh, this month? part of this exhibition as well. And so I, would, I wish I could hear you, Mona. So I'm kind of guessing um, what you are saying. But I do think that this assortment of artworks is going to be just a fantastic uh, way for people to connect with art and do it safely. We have a lot of precautions in place. The most important one is for people to register in advance. Uh, so once you get your tickets online, CincinnatiArtMuseum.org, uh, you're going to be able to uh, register and then you can visit the museum. All right, that sounds great. Jill, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on and telling us about everything Art Museum. Clyde, thank you so much. The Tri-State is a colorful quilt made from dozens of different neighborhoods, and one of the oldest is Mount Adams. But how much do you really know about this community? Well, the local man took it upon himself to compile the stories and histories of this community and has come out with a book. Right now, I want to welcome Jim Steiner, the author of Mount Adams, A History. Jim, thanks so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to be with you, Clay. So you say this is the first comprehensive history. Tell us about the research you did for this book. Well, in doing the research for this book, I learned how much is available in the community. Um, I used the Cincinnati Public Library's databases. They, they are very, very helpful especially the one that in, in, is the Cincinnati Enquirer, and it goes from 1841 to the present, uh, uh, provided a lot of information, and they have a very um, full photo uh, library too, and I got a lot of the photos from there. I did a lot of interviews uh, on Mount Adams with old timers up here, probably 35 interviews, and that provided me with a lot of information and anecdotal sort of stuff. And then there's a, uh, another resource that I had never heard of. It's called the Betts Library. And that's the library for the Cincinnati Park Board. And they have their own uh, research librarian, and she was extremely helpful, too. Well, there are quite a few celebrities and historical figures you mention in the book. Can you tell us a few of the people you've included? Well, uh, I think probably my favorite is uh, Ida Martin. And Ida is not really that very well known except to local historians. And Ida came to Cincinnati in the early or late 1700s, early 1800s. And she worked at Fort Washington, which was a fort that was built by the government uh, down along the river. And she lived uh, on the side of a hill east of the fort. And when the soldiers would refer to the hill, they knew Ida lived there, so they called it Ida's Hill. So Ida always fascinated me because she was a woman on the frontier all by herself, and legend has it that she lived in a sycamore tree. The soldiers referred to it as uh, Ida's Hill, and eventually it became Mount Ida. So Ida was the name of Mount Adams before it was Mount Adams. So she's always been a favorite of mine. But uh, Mariah Longworth Storer was the granddaughter of Nicholas Longworth, She's always been a favorite too. I mean, she was very moneyed and uh, very privileged, but she was also very resourceful. And she opened a pottery and called it Rookwood Pottery in 1880 and ran it for about 10 years and then eventually sold it. And she was the only woman owner uh, in Cincinnati of an internationally known business, the Rookwood Pottery, which by the way, most of your viewers probably know still exists today. That's great. So if people want to pick up the book, how can they do that? You can purchase the book on the website or you can learn more about the book on the website. It's also available at four local bookstores, uh, the bookshelf in Madeira, uh, Joseph Beth in Hyde Park, uh, the Roebling Point Books in Covington and the main Ohio bookstore on Main Street are selling it. And then if you happen to live in the neighborhood, it's available at four businesses on Mount Adams. It's available at um, the Mount Adams Bar and Grill, the Northside Bank Branch, the Bowtie Cafe, and um, available at the oldest Irish pub in Cincinnati, Crowley, Crowley's Highland House. So you, there's lots of places to get it. All right, Jim, thanks so much for talking to us. Well, it's the start of a new year, and a lot of people are looking for ways to make healthier choices. And one way to do this, 
course, is through the food you eat. And I want to welcome our guest who's going to tell us a lot more about trendy snack options. I want to welcome food and lifestyle expert Taylor Freeman. Thank you so much, Taylor, for joining us. And I'll jump right in um, because I'm a snackaholic. I can eat healthier, but boy, the snacks get me every time. So what do you have to tell us about snacks today? Hi, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Um, so I have a variety of different snacks here today. First, starting with Parm Crisp. Parm Crisp is local to Target, Kroger's, and Meyer. Very delicious. If you're looking for a healthy, maybe you're interested in keto diet, great option. 100% cheese, low carb, and no sugar. Wow, that sounds then, like a good option. Yeah, tell yeah, me about and then you the know, other option I have is a southern. Oh, go ahead. Go right ahead. Is the Southern Recipe Small Batch. So these are pork rinds that are delicious, come in a variety of international flavors. Okay, I love that. That sounds really good for snacking. All right, I, I recently changed to a mostly plant-based diet. So what do you have for that? I highly recommend Good Planet. So this company is delicious. They offer a variety of plant-based cheeses. What is so amazing about them, when you think of maybe plant-based or from that dairy-free, how does it measure up? Good Planet measures up by texture, taste, and meltability. Highly recommend that you check out Good Planet, local to Jungle Gym. Okay, that sounds really good. So what about an option that packs in the protein? We all need may need more protein. Yeah, so the Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds, again, keto-friendly, low-carb, lots and lots of proteins, and so many different varieties of flavors in this line. Okay, that sounds really good. Do you have a favorite one of those? Um, I'm a big fan of Parm Crisp. These are delicious. I have them all the time on the go. Like I said, 100% cheese, low carb, and no sugar. I'm really obsessed. <laughs> all right, that sounds really good. All right, if people want more information and, and your recommendations, tell us where we should go. Yes, you can follow me at Sin City Chic, C-I-N-C-I-T-Y-C-H-I-C, -I -I on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Taylor. We appreciate it. Clyde? Thanks. All right, Mona, thanks a lot. Coming up here on Cincy Lifestyle, have you made a New Year's resolution? Well, we're going to talk about some of the more popular ones this year and how you can set yourself up for success. We've got all that and more on the other side of this break. Welcome back. You know, with all of the challenges of 2020, it's important to make some resolutions for a new you in the coming new year. And so with some tips to help us do that is uh, in 2021 is red carpet host and celebrity lifestyle expert Valerie Greenberg. Valerie, thank you so much for joining us and we're going to get right to it. Everybody makes New Year's resolutions. What have you heard some of the celebrities making by way of resolutions this year? Clyde, I am hearing whispers that Rihanna, who has been very focused on her fashion and beauty lines, Fenty, might be putting out some new music. So that is very exciting because we're going to have music to jam to when we're working out, which leads <laughs> me to my first tip, and that is a treadmill that I'm obsessed with. The T75 with brand new XUR console from Matrix Fitness puts you in the driver's seat so that you can achieve an at-home workout that's as personal as it is powerful. It comes with one year of iFit and it's designed to connect to any popular training or entertainment app. It helps you start a workout, but here's the key, stay motivated to keep going. They even were awarded a best for speed work accolade by Runner's World, which is pretty major. They have a sturdy frame and the treadmill has a thick deck and you can learn more at matrixfitness.com. Okay, so we're on a good health theme right here. Uh, let's see if you've got some other ideas in terms of helping us keep that resolution to be healthy. Definitely drinking enough water, especially when we're working out. So for me, that starts with Pentair's Fresh Point Easy Flow Under Counter Water Filtration System. This easy to get great tasting filtered water from the tap, it's because of this filter. It's They recently launched this DIY filter that you can install with no tools, no drilling required. I'm not handy and it's in my home. So if I can do it, 
you can do it. It's certified by NSF to reduce 99% of lead. That's a big number. Rated for 3,000 gallons and over 20,000 plastic bottles. You can install it anywhere you want. Great tasting water straight from the tap. So ditch the filter pitchers and ditch the single-use water bottles. Not only will the water, your wallet thank you, but the environment, which is far more important. Wow, that's a good one. All right, let's talk about a resolution that most people might not think of for the new year. Sure, sure. So clean eating, people typically do think of, but here's the thing, you should pair that with a multivitamin. So for me, that starts with Sugar Bear. They're best known for their revolutionary hair vitamin, but Sugar Bear also offers a vegan woman's multivitamin that's free of artificial flavors and sweeteners. It comes in a tasty gummy form in a berry flavor that is amazing and it's made with real fruit juice. Now, taking vitamins is a great resolution for the new year, and these are available at sugarbearhair.com. They're specifically designed for women, but men, you can steal them out of your ladies' medicine cabinets, no questions asked, and you'll get some of those nutrients that you might be missing in your diet. And finally, Clyde, I wanna make sure that we're all looking our best in the new year, and for me, Hair care is so important. Now, some of us may have neglected our hair, but Rue is a leading hair care company that is gonna help us transform our dry damaged hair and help restore its essential moisture with their eight precious oils. I'm talking argan, avocado, castor, coconut, jojoba, olive, sunflower seed, almond oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E, and B5. Now, this vitamin-infused formula is incredible. It's gonna leave your hair smooth, shiny, help you control frizz. I love their Precious Oils Restorative Hair Mask. I like to use it as an at-home spa treatment when I'm in the tub, leave it in for about five minutes, great for once a week, just really restoring the moisture, and your hair is gonna thank you. And you can grab this at Sally Beauty Stores. All right, let's uh, very quickly make sure everybody knows where they can go to get more information. Tipsontv.com for all of these great resolution suggestions. Valerie, it was a pleasure talking to you, and Happy New Year. Oh, my pleasure. Happy New Year. Well, if you think having a white, bright smile will cost too much money, or it's too time-consuming, or the idea of having sensitivity issues keeps you away from that confident white smile, we have a secret that we want to share with you. And here to share it with you and tell us all about it and just how easy it is to whiten and maintain a bright white smile is my friend Scott DeFalco. Thanks for joining us, Scott, and we're going to jump right in. Tell us all about Power Swabs. Oh my goodness, Mona, Power Swabs is certainly not a secret. In fact, uh, it's really the leader in the teeth whitening industry and changing the way we whiten our teeth in this country and around the world for the last six years because we've gone worldwide with it now. And the reason why it's been so popular, actually three reasons why, is that you're gonna get results in less than five minutes. We're gonna do it without sensitivity. I'm glad you brought that up at the top because that's the biggest complaint people have about the other products. But it also works on all dental surfaces, Mona, which is a big deal because people pay a lot of money to get those procedures done. Over time, their smiles go uneven because they stain. Not anymore. Power swabs will lift those stains, get you back to the bright white smile you had when it was done. All right, so we're looking at a two-step process, right? Yeah, it's a quick two-step process, and I brought a fun video, Mona, uh, of time-lapse of two raw eggs that we use. And I don't know about you, but I cannot start my mornings without my coffee like millions of other people. So we took a raw egg, and we put it in coffee for only 30 minutes. You see it right there. And then for three hours, but even after 30 minutes, Mona, coffee can significantly stain your teeth. But with Power Swab's quick two-step process, we're first removing the stains, then we're whitening it. You see it right there. The stains are gone. It's pretty incredible. That is incredible, um, Scott. So um, you know what? Oh, Power Swab's has some other features that makes it so popular. So talk about that. Yeah, it's great. It's so easy to use. And I'm going to show your viewers what they just saw with the egg video, Mona, because when you get the power swabs in the mail, you're going to get a box of seven stain out swabs, a box of seven whitening swabs. You're simply just going to pop it open, rub it on your teeth, just like this, just like you saw in the egg video for only two minutes. That's it, Mona. And with the stain out swab, again, we're removing the stains, not covering them up like the strips in the trays, but we're also hydrating our enamel. That's why you don't get the sensitivity. The other products take the moisture out. That's why they hurt so much. So you do that for two minutes, pop open the whitening swab, another two minutes, and I'm done, Mona. In less than five minutes, you're going to get, on average, you're seeing it on your screen right now, two shades whiter. After the very first use, you're only going to do that once a day for seven days and get six shades whiter. Best part, results us up to six months. Like I said, incredible product, and people just love it. 
All right, well, let's get it into the hands of people. Tell us how they can get more information and get this product. Yeah, first their hands, then their mouth. Uh, but we're going to give you our biggest discount ever, 40% off, plus free shipping, plus for free the on-the-go stain-out quick stick for the daily maintenance, Mona. Usually when you get a free gift with things, it's not that great. This rocks. Use it after your morning coffee or lunch. It's like brushing your teeth without having to. Rub it on your teeth for about a minute or two. Lifts the stains before they sit in. The best part is that it's free. The only way to get that deal is to call the 1-800 number on your screen. There's also more information and updates at powerswabs.com. All right, Scott, thank you. You know what? You're incredible, and you rock. We appreciate you coming on the show. And you rock at home, too. We'll be back with more Cincy Lifestyle on the other side of the break. Plus, be sure to check us out on Instagram. We post all kinds of polls, questions, and behind-the-scenes pictures while we are out in the community. So follow us on Instagram at Cincy Lifestyle. We'll be right back. Well, coming up here tomorrow on Cincy Lifestyle, a local chef trades in his knives and saute pan, Clyde, for woodworking tools. Ooh. That's right. The owner of Cincinnati Wood Collaborative will join us to talk about his journey and his newly started furniture business. Oh, that's going to be fascinating. Plus, if this is the year you want to change careers or level up with the one you have, then you need to check out this book. It is called Knock Method knock method and the author will be here to tell us all about it all that and a whole lot more Mona it's all coming tomorrow on Cincy Lifestyle we certainly do appreciate you joining us today this is National Keto Day so go out and have something with no carbs and let us know about it in all the ways we showed you on the screen there that is Cincy Lifestyle for Tuesday January 5th make it a great day Thanks for watching our video, and if you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button. You can also check out full episodes of the show you've never seen before, or watch your favorites again and again. And as always, we love to say it, make it a great day.